Tony Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing um this is the Fuente Fuente Opus X um Forbidden 13. Now, in terms of the size, I think this is a bellicoso because that's closest to what I think he will buy. Um, they released a few versions of this, and every time they did it, they changed the name. This is why I don't like Opus. Like, I can't figure out what you want. Like, what do you want? What do you, what, what do you want? Just release a cigar that we can figure out the name. And I don't have to go research for that. Okay? So, yeah, let's quickly look at the cigar, even though there's not much you have. Uh, so Opus X Forbidden 13 Bellicoso Size 5 and 3 quarter by 54 And it's produced in Dominican And everything is supposed to be Dominican Puro So wrapper, Dominican Binder, Dominican Filler, Dominican As you can see, usual With the cedar and a band over it And I mean, it looks fine So and then the next thing is Does it taste fine? We'll find out. And now we start the part that I like the least, which is to smoke an opus. <laughs> this is a guy sent to me by uh, Eric, obviously, right? So, and I don't even think that he remember what he bought. This thing, I, I measured it against a six and a half, and it's just under that. But they don't have this like online to find out. Like, you know, the, the price is $59, about $60 ish. And, but I don't really know how much it costs. So, here, the, the, the starting point is going to be $59, okay? And so what we got is, we got this. I'm not going to light the cedar because uh, I don't have a, I don't have a metal um, ashtray today to, to go with it. Doesn't smell like anything. It's almost sweet. It's just like a sweet tongue, but I can't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like anything but sweet. I was going to smoke a different Opus today. And I couldn't figure out what that is. Because what he told me wasn't that. It's like a peppery floral cologne. Like woodsy, but clongery. Like, yeah, that woodsiness. Has a little bit of tingliness of pepper. I know this pepper somewhere. Light it up quickly and smoke it quickly so I can get over this quickly. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not going to be a good cigar. I'm just saying that, you know. It's Opus. So I expect a lot of witness.
cedar, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of taste like a grape vine or something like that. A little bit. Creaminess, woodsiness. A little bit of stink. So bang yeah. But that earthiness is kind of sweet too. Alright, I'll smoke one third. Be right back. Alright, so unfortunately, while I was smoking this, I hear crackling. I hear explosion on the cigar. And the draw just went extremely loose. There's nothing's going through. And I was like, what the hell happened? And I looked at it, there was nothing wrong. Yeah, I, gotta, I need to remove the band to see what's going on. So I removed the band and the band took off a little tobacco, but that's not a big issue. The big issue is that the entire cigar just decided to crack all around. All around. You can see the glue I put on there just to hold it together because it's a pretty good cigar. I don't want to waste it, but you can see all these battle wounds. It just decided to go all the way down. So I put cigar glue over it uh, to kind of hold it together because it's what I'm tasting is not bad. I really don't want to waste this. You know, it's, it's like, a, like a sweet cherry-like cocoa, cedar. It's sweet taste. It's really, really good. A little bit floral, but it's really sweet. It's not caramel, maybe maple syrup kind of sweet, like, like jam kind of sweet. It's really good. So I don't want to waste it, but that's for first third. Right, uh, construction issue. I think they put it too tight or whatever. What well, this is in a colder temperature, it'll come out it's really humid. It might be either or of that. You know, I smoked other cigar, it was totally fine, but this one just decided to explode today. Uh, the band was on really, really tight. So when I kind of released it, it was like psh, pop off. Um, so you know, sometimes it does happen, but you know, if the cigar tastes pretty good, I don't want to waste it. So that's the first stir. I'm gonna rate it based on taste. So as long as I can smoke it, I'll smoke it. Um, if this review actually got released, then you know I smoke all the way through. If you didn't, I would just throw away all the recordings and call it a day. So, second third, be right back. See, if you fix it, you get to smoke it. And I, I kind of fixed it and I got to smoke it. It's like a fruity, maybe cherry sweetness, cedar, creaminess, a little bit coffee. Um, it, it's pretty good tasting. It tastes pretty good. I, I can say it tastes pretty good. If this thing draws nice every pop, that'll be good. A little bit floral. No pepper though. No pepper, which is fine. Uh, strength. The way I'm smoking right now is roughly, if anything, medium. Okay? Good cigar. Pretty, pretty good cigar. Um, I think I can enjoy this uh, if I got a perfect one. Even if I'm not, it's not perfect right now, I'm still enjoying it. It's pretty good. The flavor is good. In fact, you can drink like a fruit juice or something like that. You can enjoy this. I have some uh, coffee right now. So I enjoy this a lot. You know, usually I don't care for Opus X, but this is pretty good. I like it. It has a little bit of marshmallow too, I think. Yeah, it's really good. All right, before I even get to the like, first, like last stir, I, I should just stop right here. Um, Let's take a look at the band. Uh, the, the Forbidden X, I'll have this X. I mean, this 13 thing. I don't know what they try to say. 13th hour? Maybe, because there's a clock or what, you know, normal rumor or something. Yeah. And other than that, the the the, the Opus X bands out. Open X bands out. Pretty standard. Nice looking band. You know, they we, you know, now that we, you know, the ITS project takes, I don't know, had to make our own bands and stuff like that. 
I really appreciate people who make these bands because it's wicked hard. Wicked hard to make these bands. It's like to make this kind of detail is super hard. Super hard. So good job. Good job. All right, Laster, be right back. All right, Laster. As you can see, I'm trying to nab it because this cigar is pretty good. Consistency, a lot of flavors, sweet all the way through. Cherry, woody, a little bit floral, uh, earthiness. It was like you know, there was a little bit of earthiness that was gone after that. Um, and um, there is creaminess. It's like a dessert cigar. It's really good. If you know, if I had a gotten perfect one, this one uh, would have worked a lot. I, I liked it. I, this all, all the open all. All the opens I smoked, this is pretty good. But with that being said, it's not a $60 cigar. I think this is uh, be, with the construction problem for me. I mean, obviously weather related. Uh, I think I can give it about 25 to 30 range. 25 to 30 range. Mm. Tastes so good. 25 to 30 range. Uh, I do recommend people try this one. Uh, if you didn't like Opus X because how cedary it was, this is one that you should try and go, oh my God, they do make other flavors. They do uh, make something that's different, even though it's all just Piro. So this is one of the good Opus I've tried. Pretty good. Mm, I can't stop. So I recommend this cigar. Big thanks to Eric sending me this one. Even though he said I already did a review on it, I do not remember I did a review on it because I probably would like this a lot and get myself some. Who knows? Who knows? Right? So, recommend this one. Big thanks to Eric. And, um, yeah, that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out our podcast. If you haven't, check our uh, membership for early access and check out Swag. Looks cool. All right. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.